Okay, in the description below, I'm going to include links to a series that teaches you how to create what are called card spelling systems. The one I'm going to show you today, I just designed it this morning. But if you'd like to learn how you can build these, take a look at the links below. Okay, so I have uh, 20 cards here, as you can count. So we'll go ahead and gather the cards up. Now, just in case you think the cards are in any particular order, uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll perform the Klondike Shuffle. Yeah, that will scramble the cards. And then maybe we'll follow that up with a Mon Shuffle. That's a very useful shuffle as well. So we'll go uh, under, over, under, over, repeated. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, spell out uh, various cards. Uh, the very first one will be the four tens, F O U R T E N Y S. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to spell four tens for some reason, but fortunately, I know how to put them in order. <laughs> um, how about the four jacks, <laughs> F O U R J A C K S? Did I spell those correctly? I hope so. So here's the first jack, one, two, the second jack, one, two, three, third jack, one, two, three, four, and the fourth jack. There we go. Now we're gonna run out of room, so let me just go ahead and maybe we'll put those over there, uh, these over here, okay, just so we have some space here. Okay, uh, four queens, F-O-U-R, Q-U-E-E-N-S, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're going to just Klondike a couple of pairs uh, to the table. Okay, that's kind of a nice way to go. Ooh, there they are in chased order as well. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough cards to spell four kings. So what I thought we would do is go ahead and just do an even up jog. So I'm just jogging forward the even position cards like that. Oh, there you, there we go, the four kings. And then we'll just set out the four aces in chase order as well. Okay, so this is a simple example of a card spelling system. So if you want to learn how to do this for yourself and come up with your own creative narratives and stories and organizations for the ending structure of the cards, you can do that. Let me just show you the original order that I had these cards in so that you can do what I just did here immediately. Okay, so here is the original order of the cards. Now, it is true that I performed a Klondike shuffle at the beginning, followed by a mange under over. Well, those two shuffles together constitute a false shuffle in the sense that they leave the cards as they were. So that pair of shuffles won't hurt the organization of these cards here. Okay, so if you put them in the order I have on the screen, this is going to work perfectly for you and take a look at the links below. So thank you for watching and I encourage you to access the Absolute Math Magic channel and see if there's other videos that might be of interest to you. So thank you again.